Welcome back to Friday Football Fever. There have been quite a few shakeups in the new Lincoln Prairie Conference so far this season. Yeah, Arcola was the preseason favorite, but the Riders lost to Cumberland two weeks ago. Then Tri-County knocked off Cumberland last week. The Titans have won two of their last three heading into tonight, and they visit Arcola in a Lincoln Prairie Conference battle. And... Uh, Titans doing big things. As soon as I walk in the door, Daniel Drake just breaking tackles left and right. He goes the distance, but it was 28 to 6 Arcola early in the second. And Arcola, normally known for their ground game, they took to the air tonight. Bo Jones to Pedro Guiana, 42 to 6 at this point, and they were just pouring it on. A couple drives later, Jones to Ivan Garza down inside the goal line and this one was all purple tonight 62 to 20 Arcola wins it we're going to stay in the LPC for Arthur Lovington at what and rolling out the welcome mass for Sangamon Valley the Knights look to become playoff eligible for the first time since 2014 Billy Pfeiffer taking the handoff on the first night's play from scrimmage I believe long touchdown run here to make it seven to nothing next drive it worked once we're going to do the same thing. Fake out our camera guy. That was me. 14 <laughs> to nothing. ALAH early, and they go on to win it big. 44 to 13. They are victorious. All right, we take the chopper three, which is fict fic fictional. Fictitious. Fictitious. We don't have a chopper three. It'd be nice if we did, though. To Cumberland for Villa Grove Heritage and Cumberland quarterback Colton Guyon throws over the middle, finds Michael Flyer. He splits the defenders for a big gain. Next play, Guyon hands off to Eisten Seifert, rumbles his way past a few defenders for back-to-back -back first downs. Later in the drive, it's Race Zyke, now in a quarterback. He rolls out to his right, trying to convert on third, but it's picked off by Blake Smith. They go on to win 14 to 10. VGH picks up a good road dub, converting on fourth and 50 with seven seconds left to win it. Central Illinois Conference action has Tuscola making a trip to Warrensburg. Latham, both teams two and two in league play. First quarter, Logan Tabling finding the end zone from a couple of yards out to make it 6 nothing. Tabling doing it with his arm, too, passing to Brandon Douglas to pick up a few yards. And a couple of plays later, it's Tabling running it in again. 13 nothing at that point. All Warriors tonight, 40-7 to the final. First year, Muhammad Seymour head coach John A. Adkins goes back to his alma mater for the first time tonight facing Charleston. First play of the second half, good read option, leaves Braden Doyle with tons of room to run, picks up the first down. Same drive facing third down, Nick Cheney searching, finding Doyle, who has enough to keep the drive going with the Trojans' first down. Fast forward just a little further, fourth down, Cheney shovel pass to Doyle, but he's wrapped up behind the line to no gain, Ben, but don't break from the Bulldogs to keep the Trojans out of the end zone. 20 to 12, Muhammad Seymour victorious for their second win of the year. Thanks to everyone who donated to our Tackle Hunger campaign tonight as we work with the Eastern Illinois Food Bank to feed hungry people in need right here in Central Illinois. Muhammad Seymour collects more than 7,000, Charleston more than 3,000 for a total of 10,502 meals tonight. For the season, we are more than 105,000. Making a big difference for communities across the area. Thank you to everyone who donated. Fisher has a chance to call for a playoff spot tonight. If the Bunnies can win at Deer Creek Mackinac, Tyler Wilson runs it in from short yardage for the TD. Then Will Delaney pitching back to Kale Horsch. He is in as well, all the way down to the one-yard line. Almost gets in. Wilson finishes it off with another score. 30-24. to 24. Fisher scores with just 13 seconds left. So VGH and Fisher making some late heroics to pick up wins tonight. Our final prep visual stop takes us to the role of Forsyth for a top 10 showdown between the Trojans and Athens. Pick it up in the third. Wade Jostis to Cody Marsh getting them a little bit closer to scoring position and then Wade Jostis to Cade Culp. He gets in to make it 14-7 and the Trojans defend home field 21-7. They pick up the win. All right, Craig, the highlights put to bed, but more on the way as we check in with the Illinois basketball team. Plus, the Dick Buckus statue officially unveiled this afternoon. You do not want to miss what the Illinois <laughs> Hall of Famer had to say about what this means for him. It is great stuff. That's next.